so I guess this is a previous video well, it's night so good night to the few persons watching Anyways, whatever iPhones with Fortnite installed are being sold for as much as 10,000 after Apple pulled the game from the App Store. Hmm. Well, I'm going to just give my two cents on this. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in my bed now, but I really hope that CP and things so, but uh, actually there uh, do some work. Is it? Uh, well, anyways. Based on what I'm hearing, um, hearing about the whole Fortnite thing being removed from Play Store. Napster because I have persons here debating with me you know, that don't even read. I'd say I'm bashing against anything, but they don't read on this stuff. Like they don't go on the internet and read stuff. They just listen from other persons. You see, so them don't go and go do them research. Debating with me, you know, that that's always me always there read, and them are debate with me about. Play Store, um, Fortnite not being on Play Store, it's only there for the Apple Store. I'm like, really? I wouldn't compare Apple and Play Store. Well, I, I find it similar because, you know, similar apps, right? Um, it's just how oh, their thing is structured. In terms of feature and whatever whatsoever but yeah uh, so uh, friends debating with me over that but what time here in so far because I haven't read up on much about the whole Fortnite thing I've never really followed it up from the last videos yet so I just Basically, just see the post here. Well, just some say I'll make a screen record and read up about it and see what's it about. But um, uh, what I come to find out is that it's over some money thing. I guess they're selling selling it at an expense that not even. Fortnite on the regular Xbox console like the store isn't selling it at the price that Apple wants it you see it and I heard that they're charging a lot of money I don't I'm not sure but so most of the articles say I can't really give you the links because I don't remember like I'm not going to remember the links like that, you see, because I'm always reading, so I'm not going to keep a track of everything, saying I read about 20 article on Fortnite since day from different sites, saying almost various, I'm like, Loop News, well, I don't think Loop News push Fortnite info, anyways, whatever. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that's the reason why. So them did come down to the whole conversation or whatever, and they decide to take it down. Apple take it down, remove it, and thing. It's like up to now, I can show you that I still have my Fortnite right here, and I cannot update my game. I cannot play it because of this thing that's going on, and it's weird though. Because like, wait, I don't know. I never took this long before, so I guess I got to uh, come off that and go back on it. So yeah, 
I don't see it. Uh, Fortnite's error. No internet connection. What? I have an internet connection. The app will reconnect automatically. Okay, I'll try again. I'll try again. And I think it's because rain just falls, so that's a problem. But back to the article. So yeah. Mm. For the low price of just ten thousand I guess that's US in US figure even though it doesn't show the currency which is which it is in is it so it's a ten thousand you can have well let me read over that again for the low price of just ten thousand dollars you can have your very own iPhone X a two-year-old iPhone with the free game Fortnite pre-installed. Hmm, wow. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this. Well, anyways. Last week, the widely popular game Fortnite got an update. An update on Apple and Android smartphones that allowed players to, to bypass the company's digital payment system. Payments went directly to the Fortnite studio Epic Games instead of Apple and Google In response Apple and Google pulled Fortnite from their digital storefronts and cited the update as a term of service violation Well, I never know that I Just came down to this. That's why uh, I don't read it before you come because I'm a person if I read it I read say I read this now I'm not going to come back on this same page and say I'm gonna read over it back and screen record I love reading but I won't do that is it so I like to do it at the same time. so I like to go but let me let, let me continue I don't want to spoil whatever is going on here Anyways, Epic Games sued both companies shortly thereafter for what it alleged in is anti-competitive behavior. behavior. If you already add Fortnite on your iPhone, Apple has no way of removing it. And some iPhone owners with Fortnite have taken to eBay with their phones. With listing as high as ten thousand. Whoa! Now that that's that's. I wonder if I'm gonna sell my phone in wood. It's a LG G8 and it's expensive as well. It has a lot of features and whatever. Maybe someday I'll do a review on it. But I might have some minor cracks around the edge. Um, it's just some airline cracks and thing, nothing that serious. Anyways, if you were one of the million, millions of people who downloaded Fortnite before it was pulled from the Apple Store, Apple App Store last week, then you've still got it. Apple can't remove the game from your iPhone, but if you didn't perhaps you you would be willing to pay as much as ten thousand for an iPhone with the game pre-installed that's what resellers on eBay or open a search of eBay's US store on Wednesday with the term iPhone Fortnite installed yielded over 100 listings of resellers with ve various iPhone models a search for a fortnite iPhone turns up even more hmm. I would never buy that though hmm. that's that's a lot of money that's a lot of money but I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's US um, currency or Canadian I, I, I'm not sure so I won't 
say so for, forget what I said before but because it don't state it does say 10,000 whatever anyways the 10,000 option above for instant comes with the game pre-install and 2017 iPhone X I saw long the phone did it come out oh yeah 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 I think so <laughs> Notably, Fortnite is a free-to-play game that's available on nearly every gaming platform. Moreover, the game can be played across competing game platforms. Whether you're playing on Nintendo Switch, iPhone, PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Android, or Mac, you can play with other Fortnite players. I'm familiar with that, but that was... Like from last year with the whole cross linking thing with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Uh, the only phone, the only on device, only on device I know Fortnite did the phone one time that like me a year was um, the Samsung S10. I think it's a nice thing. Yeah, and persons are saying it's only phone. You could see it on. So many that here. My have nobody else where uh, like own a big phone. I need a big phone for sale. It depends on the phone or whatever is it. I just thought it because of what I was hearing. I thought it was on that phone alone, but no, I come to realize that it's a store that carries the app. So any other iron device like my LG G8 right now, or maybe a LG 40, V40, or you know the regular iPhone everybody I run now. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so now I know that. But, Looking at this right now, though, um, on our screen right here, that's an iPhone X, uh, current bid. So, no, that's a iPhone 8 Plus with Fortnite install. But I have mine installed, and still, I don't know how I'm going to play it. But I think I can find ways to. I will try it and find a way to. Because it's not, it's not difficult for me because I'm a researcher, so I always find ways around stuff like this. Hopefully, I will. But as you can see here, wait, I don't know, I can't zoom in. I have to turn on comfort view. No, not now. Okay, so if you can see where it's an iPhone 8 Plus with Fortnite installed right here. You see condition use time left two days fifteen hours Saturday one forty five AM so I guess that's the time is selling or the the day is leave for the bid to finish. So I guess this thing is going to go up to maybe more because that's the current bid you know. So think about it. If you say that and and, and it's a bid so if you say that and you really need a device, say someone place that bid the four thousand three hundred, and I want a phone and thing, you know, and that's the current bid now. And I know that I have the money, and I can just say, then I can just say, even if it's five hundred over, I can say I have four thousand. You know, I have four thousand. 800 yeah just leave it at that so i have 4800 i can get it but it's a bid and it's there for two days and 15 hours well that's at that time and saying so the bid is going to continue go up and it will go up and go up and eventually it will stop it can stop before the day too but it's like it's safe this some but i wouldn't take my money and buy that though 
just a Fortnite, Fortnite. Fortnite is getting boring though, because everybody is playing um the legendary free fire. You know, the legendary free fire. You see that? <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Don't 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 follow me. Don't follow me. If you follow me, you will lose your mind. And the legendary Call of Duty as well, the mobile version of Call of Duty. But anyways, yeah. But let's continue. Though Fortnite was pulled from the Apple Store last week, it's unlikely to stay pulled forever. Hmm. It's one of the most popular games. I see was. <laughs> and Apple has repeatedly said it once to put the game back. We very much want to keep the company as part of the Apple developer program and their apps on the store. Apple said in a statement this week, the problem Epic has created for itself is one that can easily be remedied if they submit an update of their app that reverts it to comply with the guidelines they agreed to and which apply to all developers fortnite was pulled from apple store apple app store and google play store late last week after an update issued by epic allowed users to bypass apple and Google's digital payment system instead of players buying in game virtual money V Bucks through Apple or Google. They could buy them directly from Epic at a thirty percent discount. Whoa. Thirty percent. You would be saving a lot of money there you know. So now let's see why Apple decide take down this thing like nah we're we're going to lose profit like you know everything was already planned before and we're making this hefty amount of money and damn this is just too much these niggas sent out an update for the app users to bypass this thing And y'all taking 30% off too? No, oh, that's too much. We we'll, we'll got to remove it. So yeah, I guess that... I guess I saw them sit down in a them conference room and them a talk and them a discuss stuff, you know, like... Man-to-man -man talk. With, anyways, don't follow me. <laughs> you are mad. Still... In response... The two main smartphone conglomerates pulled Fortnite from their respective digital storefronts. Epic Game anticipating as much file lawsuit against each company. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, and I guess it's finished there. But guys, the legendary Fortnite is off the stars. But I guess it'll, it will be coming back soon. I hope so. Because I'm already missing it. Because I don't have a console at the moment, you know. So that's why I'm kinda try out this YouTube thing. Well, I'm not saying. I'm trying like that. I had a channel before that had a lot of subscribers and it was not really a blog but me videoing my regular activities in the daytime and stuff but not with the phone in front of my face like this now. 
because as you can see now I'm really to reading an article article so whatever but yeah that did have more and stuff but I decide not to use it for no because I want to build this one and I want to use this one my Zivi gaming Zevi music and gaming channel and I do a lot of stuff on it I promote music but I will be promoting music and doing music as well because we know many of you maybe want to hear me sing to you Zeev. but I have a song I sing trap music and I'm a good writer so if you need somebody to write your song just holler at me in the comment section and I'll be there so you do this, um, peace out, yeah. enjoy the rest of your night, well, what's left of it, yeah, so, bye.